In this video series, you will learn how to set up a simple help desk. All you have to do is log into your C panel of your hosting account, and roll down until you see Fantastico and click on that. Now roll down to where it says Customer Relationship, and then click on OS Ticket. A little install window will pop up. Click on New Installation. And then you just fill in this form. First of all, you have the domain it's going to be installed on, should come up automatically. And then next, if you want to install it in a directory, you put it here. So we're just going to call it Help Desk. Now you don't have to install it in a directory, you can install it in the main directory by leaving this blank. Then I want you to give it a username and password. And then an email address for the admin. Then click Install OS Ticket. And then it's telling you that it's going to create a MySQL database for you and where it's going to install it. Click Finish Installation. And then when it's done, it tells you that it has created the databases and the configuration file. And now you can click down here to view your help desk. And you can click here to admin your help desk. I suggest that you go to admin first and bookmark this page. You now have the basic help desk set up. Now we need to set up some categories for our users to be able to select. So key in your username and password you selected. Then down here, click on categories. And then you want to set up a couple of categories you have a default one called support. Uh, you can just call this first one you might want to say general question. If you're going to use a POP3 account you can put the information in here and you can put the email address in here. However if you Leave the above blank, it will just use your web server's email handling system, which is what you're going to want to do in most cases. Here you will put the email address in. This is the email address that you will be notified at. and then create the category. Go back to categories again. You'll see now that you have support and general question. And if we select general question, you'll see that there's an, the, what we had set up is in here. And support takes our default email address and has put that in there. So you can change that if you want to something else. Remember, you can also set a signature in here, which will carry a signature out to your, with your email that it gets sent out from the help desk. And then the next one you might want to add, you click Add New, you might want to put one called JV Request. And then here, in the email, if you want to have a different email address for it, for instance, if you've set up an email that you want to receive JV requests at JV at your domain name dot com and general support at support at your domain dot com and questions at questions dot your email dot com, etc. This is where you can do that. Otherwise you can just set up your basic email address here that you want to use. If you just want to use one for everything. Signature goes here if you want to put a signature line in. And then you create the category. Now if we go back to categories now, you'll see that we have 
the three categories that people can select. And you can set up as many as you want. Once you've done that, you can click on Preferences. And then you can set any preferences you want in here. You're really not going to have to change anything in here. It will already have filled in everything for you during the setup. If there's any types of attachments you don't want to be able to, to receive, this is where you can remove them just by clicking on it and click and remove. Or if you want to be able to accept more, you can put it in here and click Add. The only other thing is down here you might want to change your time zone and then you can change your tickets per page for display and that's probably all you need to bother to change there and then save your changes. Now down here you can change your account by clicking here and change your email address in here and your username if you like. And then we have ban list you can actually ban words within here, which we've done here. So any of these words will not show up within your help desk. User groups. You can just basically set up a group that you can add all of your users to. For instance, we select admin. And then this is what the user group admin can access. So you can set up a different type of user group and give them different accesses in here. This is more for admin functions and it's not something that you really particularly need to use. Now representatives, these are people that will be able to log in kind of like a staff member and this is where you can give them the user group and that will take the it will take the permissions of the user group and apply it to them. And that's about all we need to do for the setup process. Now let's go through the process of what happens when somebody actually opens up a ticket. This is what your users would see what you would do is give them a link to your help desk wherever you want a help desk link to appear. When they click on that link they'll be brought here and then they key in their name here. Um, telephone number is optional, you can put that in. Then this is where they select the categories that you've set up then they can put in like a normal email the subject and the body of the message let's put a valid email address in here okay and then they can just select the priority of the ticket and then open a ticket. And it's telling us got an invalid email because of the character there. And there we go. And open the ticket. It has now created a ticket for them and it has sent them out the ticket details to their email address. Once they key in their email address and the ticket number which they were emailed, they can view the status here and so far nothing has happened with it. We'll go back to the admin side. Key in our admin username and password. And we see here's the ticket. And we can now view the ticket and answer it. And now we can reply to him here and then we can either reply and close or just reply. We can also make a private message to a staff member if we set somebody up we can send them a message from within here. In this case we'll just give them a quick message and what this will do is it will email them back with what we have said here. 
So we'll just do a reply and close. So this will send back to this email address that he's put in here with this comment. So I'll just put reply and close. And it's gone. Now if we were to view closed, there's the closed ticket and we can still view it here. Now that in a nutshell is how you cr create a, a simple help desk for free.